two of how to track in my fitness pal. So we're gonna pretend like Piper wants to eat the goldfish. So we have three different ways that we could do this. One, we could scan the barcode in my fitness pal. We'll show you this here. Okay, so I'm on the main page of the app. I'm gonna hit log food at the bottom. I'm gonna act like it's my lunch. So I'm gonna hit add food, scan a barcode. Okay, so one thing you have to make sure of is that your carbs, fat, and protein all line up with the nutrition label on the food. So it looks like mine does. The check mark, and it'll save it in there for me. Number one, we already completed. She did the scan, she scanned the barcode. So now we're gonna go into option two where she is gonna search the food itself in my fitness pal. For this one, I'm gonna hit log food again, add food for my lunch. Now I'm just gonna type in. So I'm just gonna type in small goldfish. And so many options come up. So I could search through all of these and find the specific pack that I'm eating, but instead I'm gonna save time. Very busy person. She decided she's gonna save time. So she's gonna stick with option number three. And we're about to show you because we wanna make this the most efficient for you all. And she knows she has class, she's working, she is doing all the things. So she doesn't have time to look through all the different options. So here's option number three, and this is gonna be your best bet. Okay, so for option number three, I'm going back to log food, add food, and this time I'm putting it into my own foods. So, okay, so create a food, brand name. I'm gonna type in goldfish. Description, small pack. Serving size, I'm gonna look at the grams on my pack. So it says 28 grams. And one serving size. Okay, so once I get to this part, I wanna type in the calories, the fat, then you can scroll down my carbs, and the protein. That's, those are the only things I care about for this. Then I can hit the check, no thanks, and it's logged. When you're on MyFitnessPal, I would recommend going up to premium. So I told Piper, I'm like, Piper, you're gonna wanna do this. You wanna go to premium because you wanna see as you're tracking your food, how many macros you have left. So how many protein you have left, how many carbs you have left, and how many fats you have left because it's gonna be easier for you to then Instead of going to the next screen, which we're about to show you, it's just gonna make life simpler. So upgrade to premium and we're about to show you why. Okay, so right now I have it set as how many calories I have remaining. So there's two things inputted just so we can get an idea. So I'm gonna hit those three buttons. I'm gonna hit on macronutrients focused. And now I can see how many carbs, fats, and proteins I have left to eat throughout the day. 